Hey, it's Ruben in the shop. Just a quick video. Got back to the shop after a day at the swap meet and an auction pickup. Got some amazing stuff. Big paper haul. Let me show you what's coming in the shop. Lots of political stuff. Um, the guy at the swap meet has a connect with a big paper collection. Um, stuff goes back pretty far. Uh, let me run through some of the highlights. There's this um, pass punt kick poster. Um, NFL, you got to go to the Ford dealership to sign up. It's from 1965. And Norman Rockwell did the artwork, so that's pretty cool too. Nice crossover. Got this Universal uh, Stoves calendar, 1918. Uh, calendar still intact. It is, it's rough. But it's all there. Um, that <laughs> the world, uh, its nations, and their possessions. So this is leading right up to World War One. So I guess kind of setting the stage. So crazy. George Washington action up there. Um, this cool lithograph. Uh, North Atlantic Fleet Admiral Sampson. It's like the late eighteen hundreds, I believe. Got a civil defense thing over here. Sign of protection, your community in action, moving food, water, medicines into shelters. Um, some oddball stuff there. Um, got some strike posters. Kennedy, Wallace. That's uh, Teddy Kennedy. Um, yeah, Chicago teachers. Up here, there's some advertisement. That's a stand-up. And both of them are stand-ups. The Christmas tree is missing its backing to make it stand up. And it looks like it's missing its star, um, Alka-Seltzer. Uh, see that poster there? That's Alfred E. Uh, what is it? Alfred E. Smith, Democratic nominee in, like, 1928. His posters are really rare because, I mean, 1928. Um, some of the older posters were a long time ago glued to boards so that's not the best thing in the world I mean hardcore collectors want them uh, straight paper so that's the case with those two in the back those are probably the most iconic pieces or best pieces the Red Cross poster Christmas roll call that's from uh, 1918 so going into World War One again um, but it is on board if it was just like a fresh poster it'd be quite valuable, but I think there's still, there's still hope, there's still reason to, to buy it, to sell it, to have it, to hold it, um, next is that, uh, it's called, uh, Panorama of Washington, uh, has George Washington on the top, what that was, it all folded up together, it's not like a pamphlet, and someone unfolded it and pasted it, it's a pretty famous thing, image, um, and it's worth, couple hundred bucks it's from 1860 which is super cool um it's quite old uh another alfred e smith 1928 again um you got dewey for governor um here's another dewey for the governor one that one's paper and has not been mounted um yeah uh dewey i guess he prosecuted lucky luciano um he later ran for president. He was a favorite, and then he lost to... Who did he lose to? Eisenhower? I don't know. It's that famous image of the winner holding up the the newspaper because the newspapers jumped the gun. Um, so there he is, twice. Um, pretty cool. Uh, Kennedy for president, Teddy. Uh, he didn't really make any waves. Um, McGovern and Shriver, that's kind of cool, it's just like the wood block print, and then you see there's two there, uh, Cardice Collins, um, congresswoman out of Illinois, um, I think I saw it was like 1973 through 1990s or something like that, so a long career, uh, it said she was the fourth African American congresswoman and the first from the Midwest. So, cool, got to learn some stuff. Uh, I got one more. This is from Buffalo, uh, New York. 
they got the World's Fair there in, uh, what is it, 1901? So from 1901, again, it was put on a board, probably in like the 70s or 80s, to preserve it, but like I said, not the best, but at the same time, where are you going to get it? So that's all I got for you. Um, well, I got some other stuff, but we won't talk about it. Look at this painting I bought. That's from me, keeping that. Um, yeah, Laura Shirley, uh, local or Arizona artist, maybe? Um, that's it. I'm rambling. Talk to you later. Bye.